Hello everyone. So in the last lecture we have discussed about what is regression and different types of regressions, right? So in this lecture we are going to discuss about simple linear regression. Now what is regression in general? So we have discussed this y is equals to f of x comma theta, right? Where x is the variable, like independent variable, y is a dependent variable, and theta is basically a coefficient of this particular a variable, right? So this general expression for regression for regression right now what is simple linear regression so in this we have only one independent variable okay and that is represented by y is equals to ax plus b so all know this is the straight line equation this is the equation of a straight line right equation of straight line right so this is what simple linear regression is the equation of a straight line y equals to ax plus b. because the relationship between the independent variable x and dependent variable y is linear that's why this expression is given right that's why this expression is uh, there that is simple uh, straight line equation that is linear equation right now how we can apply this particular uh, technique to this given data set okay suppose we have x and y right there are two variables x is independent variable y is dependent on x how we can apply this simple linear regression on the two variable right so that we can discuss but what is regression so regression will give us the numerical data or numerical output right for a unseen data value okay now for this particular data set if i plot the graph for this suppose this is x this is y and this is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 and 4 right so for a first point it will be a point here for second point 2 comma 2 so it will be this point 3 1.3 right for 3 it will be 1.3 so it will be somewhere here for 4 it will be 3.75 so it will be somewhere here and for 5 it will be 2.25 so it will be somewhere here right now i need to draw a line such that it should cover my maximum number of points right is that will be my base fit curve okay so in this we are interested in base fit line okay so base fit line we are interested in base fit line so what is base fit line suppose if i draw this line okay suppose if i draw this line i can draw any lines okay say for example i have drawn this line i can draw this line also like for this example i can draw this line also passing through this particular point right now what will be my base fit line so if i take this particular value of x right so i should get this point i should get this particular value if i consider this line for this particular value of 2 i will get this particular value right if i consider this line for this particular value of 2 i will get this particular uh, value of y right so base fit line will give, so each line will give us a different value of y right so how to decide which will be my base fit line so in this case we have to decide a line such that the distance between this point okay so these are my actual data point right and this is my predicted value right this is predicted value predicted value so for example you can see for x equals to 2 here y equals to 2 so this will be my actual value if i consider this particular line this will be my point right so distance between actual value and this predicted value so difference between actual value and predicted value it is an error right and it should be minimum and it should be minimum so this is this and between this point so it's a straight line distance okay so consider this is a straight line distance right so this is a straight line distance okay so this distance this uh, distance straight line distance this straight line distance must be minimum and this is what residual error is right so what is residual error here that is the difference between actual value that is y minus predicted value so predicted value we can say it is y cap right it is y cap so it will be y cap so difference between actual value and predicted value will be my residual error and our aim is to minimize this error right to minimize this error right 
if this error is less it means our model is more accurate okay if this error is less it means our model is more accurate we can say for, but for finding out this particular predicted value we need to find out this particular equation of line and this equation of line is basically y equals to ax plus b okay so this will give us the predicted that is y bar okay so how to find out this value how to find out the value of this particular expression that is y equals to ax plus b so y bar equals to ax plus b for that we need to find out the value of a and b this coefficient of a and b coefficient of this equation right a and b and for this finding out the value of a and b we have something called least square method list square method right in the gate exam they can ask multiple question based on this simple linear regression so first thing is that you have to find out this particular equation of a line that is base field line okay so th they can give this data set this type of data set and you need to find out this equation of a line it means you need to find out value of a and b right or what they can ask they can give one more unseen data set for example what will the value of what will be the predicted value of for given model when x equals to 6 or when x equals to 7 so in that case also you need to find out the equation of a line right or in some cases they will just ask you to find out this value of a because this value of a is called as regression coefficient okay so value of a is basically regression coefficient okay so in exam if they ask for regression coefficient it means you need to find out the value of a right so that is basically a slope of a line okay i hope you understand this particular concept okay so whatever we have discussed uh, just now so that is given here so simple linear regression is basic machine learning technique used for modeling the relationship between single independent variable that is basically x and a dependent variable that is basically a y it assumes a linear relationship between the variables and aims to find the base fitting line right typically represented by the equation y equals to mx plus b right so this is general equation of a line that minimize the that minimize the sum of square difference between the observed data point and the value predicted by the model right so in this case we are interested in to minimize the sum of square differences between the observed data point and the value predicted so we'll discuss this what is this point because we are going to have a separate video for performance matrix so in that we are going to discuss all those things okay but for this video just focus on to find out the value of this particular expression that is value of a and b so equation is the linear regression model is represented by this particular equation so what is y here y is dependent variable the one you want to predict x independent variable the one used for prediction right so that's what i said you need to find out the equation of a line and they will give you okay if the value of x is this then find out the predicted value of y right and what is a a is basically a slope and this is called as regression coefficient okay please remember this then this is regression coefficient basically it is a, a only that is slope of a line right represent how much y changes for each unit change in the x so we all know if we have equation of a line mx plus c so m is basically a slope and m is given by dy by dx right so m is nothing but dy by dx so same thing so m will indicates how much change in the y for a unit change in the x right so m is dy by dx here so we have discussed this in our 11th and 12th right and b is the y intercept representing the value of y when x is zero okay for this is x and y if value of x is zero then what will be the value of b so value of x will be zero means at this particular point right so either it is starting from this this or where it is intersecting that will be my b here so here in this case this will be my b right from here to here this will be my b right so this is what y intercept is now there are a few formulas to find out the value of a and b okay the means of x and y are given by this so we, so we need to find out the mean of x and y so mean is indicated by mean or average we can say x bar and y bar and given by 1 by n summation of all x values 1 by n summation of all the y values right and also the variance of x is given by so variance of x we need to find out so 1 by n minus 1 summation of xi minus xi bar square so we need to subtract the value of 
means from the given value of x and you need to take the square of it right that is what variance is what about covariance covariance is 1 upon n minus 1 summation of x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar okay so please remember this what is variance what is covariance so this is same as we have discussed in the statistics uh, course stats course right so please remember this formula they can directly ask such type of question in the exam find out the variance find out the covariance for this given uh, linear regression uh, equation right or data so you can expect such type of question also right and then how to find out the value of a and b so a is simple y bar minus b into x bar but we need to find out the value of b first that will be covariance of x and y and divided by variance of x so this will give me value of a and b and if you got the value of a and b just simply put in the equation so that will be a simple linear regression expression okay so i hope you understand this particular uh, concept of simple linear regression and we we'll, and we are going to discuss this example also right so for example obtain a linear regression for a data in below table assuming that y is independent variable and this data set is given to us okay so we need to find out y equals to ax plus b it means we need to find out the value of a and value of b right so same thing we have to follow whatever we have discussed here those formulas right that thing we have to follow okay so let's try to solve that particular question so we need to find out the value of a and b here but first thing is that we need to find out the value of x bar and y bar right so that will be 1 by n summation of all xi it equals to 1 by n summation of all yi so here 1 by n so how many uh, data points are there very right so 1 2 3 4 5 that is n equals to 5 here in this case right so if i just simply take the calculation like you can just take that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so it will be around 3 okay you can do the calculation afterward now what about y so if i take same apply if i apply that uh, formula so 1 upon 5 and what will the values so same thing 1 plus 2 plus 1.3 right so 1 plus 2 plus 1.3 plus 3.75 plus 2.25 right and that will be my y that is y bar that is 2.06 so i got the mean of x and y that is x that is indicated by x bar and y bar now what is covariance covariance of x comma y so that is basically 1 upon n minus 1 right now what is the formula for that into summation of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar right so what does it indicate it is basically 1 by 4 right so 1 minus x bar so 1 minus x bar is basically 1 minus 3 into y bar minus y into y uh, y minus y bar so 1 minus 2.06 so 1 minus 2.06 right plus again same thing 2 minus the mean of x that is 3 okay into again same thing 2 minus the mean of y bar that is y bar that is 2.06 plus until so until the last value that is 5 minus 3 into 2.25 minus 2.06 right so this will be my expression for uh, covariance and if you calculate the value of this it will come around 1.0625 okay this is what covariance is and what about variance variance of x so same thing for same formula right whatever we have discussed here this one so 1 upon n minus 1 so 1 upon n minus 1 summation of x i minus x bar square right that is basically 1 upon n minus 1 summation of x i x i minus x bar whole square right so that will be 1 by 4 and same thing what we have done here so 1 minus 3 square plus 2 minus uh, 3 square plus so on till 5 minus x bar x bar is 3.0 that is 3 square right so at the last what i will get the value of variance of x that is basically 2.5 okay so please remember this formula it will be useful in your statistic part also right now i got the value of okay so 
in this case we are considering the equation y equals to ax plus b right so where a is the regression coefficient now if you compare with this particular expression so here our b is basically a right or we can simply consider this as y equals to bx plus a right instead of ax plus b so to avoid the confusion right and what will be the value of b in this case now so b is equals to this covariance of x y divided by variance of x right so that is basically a 1.0625 divided by 2.5 right so value of b is 0.425 right and how to get the value of a by using this expression that is a equals to y bar minus b into x bar so y bar is 2.06 minus b is 0 0.425 into x bar is 3 right so if i calculate the value of a is 0 0.785 right so our expression of this linear regression is y equals to bx that is b is 0 0.425 x plus 0 0.785 so this will be my expression for this particular linear regression okay so such type of question you can expect in the gate exam simple five six data point will be given to you and you need to calculate the expression of y or you need to calculate the value of b that is regression coefficient right first or first you need to calculate the expression y or they can ask you what will be the value of y when x equals to 9 right so in this case you just need to put the value of x in 9 here right so that's it so that's it from this particular lecture so in the next video we are going to discuss about multivariate linear regression and also there are performance matrix on which we uh, compare simple linear regression and multilinear regression and multivariate linear regression right so we'll discuss those things